what are you going to do when more people show up at your house wanting a meal Mm -hmm. than what you were planning on? What are you going to do? Are you going to say, well, I'm sorry, we only have enough for our own group. We can't feed you. And the thought hit me that what we should do is we need to look to the Word of God. We need to ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? And when that thought hit me, it reminded me of a book I I bought in the early 70s, about one or two years after I got saved in 1974. It was called In His Steps. Mm -hmm. And I dug out that old book, even brought it with me. Uh, At that time, 30 million copies in print. The second most popular book in the world next to the Bible. But that's where WWJD came from. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What would Jesus do came from that book. And uh, so so I thought, you know, what would Jesus do if too many people showed up wanting something to eat? Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's in the Bible. Yeah. You know, in fact, there's a couple of miracles of food multiplication Mm -hmm. we need to look at. Mm -hmm. One of them was the widow woman and her son. They were getting ready to eat their last meal. Why was it their last meal? There was a famine in the land. You know what? There's a famine coming. There's a time coming where you can't buy or sell for 42 months war on the saints. Not many people talk about war on the saints. Daniel Mm -hmm. says war on the saints, 42 months. Revelation says that the Antichrist has given authority over the saints for 42 months. And if you don't take the mark, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't go to the grocery store. So you, we need to be thinking ahead. Don't wait for the stores to close on you. So, uh, so anyway, the widow woman, down to her last meal, and Elijah shows up, and he's hungry. Mm-hmm. And he says, will you share your food with me? And they said, well, this is all we have. But, hey, we were just going to eat it and die anyway. So what's one more mouth to feed? And you're a man of God, and I want to honor a man of God. So they, she, she shared the food. And whether it was a cruise of oil and a, and a pot of meal, it didn't run out till the famine was over. And the grocery stores were restocked, and the gardens were growing again. That was a miracle of multiplication. Well, The next miracle in this study is the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus had Bible camp. I mean, he had an incredible (laughs) Bible camp out there in the hills. 5,000 people showed up. Some people say 5,000 men, and there may have been women and children. We know one child was there because he had a sack lunch. So... They're out there, and man, it was so exciting, the stuff that Jesus was teaching. They stayed longer than they thought. They stayed after they finished eating all their food. Probably they'd stayed at least one day without food because when he got done, they were hungry. Mm -hmm. And the disciples said, boy, Lord, what are we going to do? We don't have any food, and it's two days' journey to Denny's, and these people are not (laughs) going to make it. And uh, It says that Jesus knew beforehand what he was going to do. You see, Jesus was a prepper at heart. (laughs) He he knew if if crunch time came, he knew what to do. So, you know what he did? He said, have disciples, have everybody sit out, you know, in rows or whatever, uh, in an orderly way, and find out how much food we have. This was the important point. They go out and they scour who's got food. One kid, sack lunch, two fish, five loaves of bread. Now think about this. Mm -hmm. It would not have been too much to imagine that Jesus' disciples would have come up and said, Jesus, we only have enough food for our group. We can feed the disciples. We can feed that kid. It's his lunch. And we can feed you. So what are we going to do? We don't have any more food than enough for our group. And... uh, Jesus told them, Let's have them sit down, and we're going to divide this up into little pieces and keep dishing it out till everybody's full. And they did that, and when they got done, he said, pick up all the rest of the pieces. There was 12 baskets full. Think about this. If the disciples would have been only thinking of themselves, they would have eaten up all the food. Everybody would have gone on famous. Many of them would have never made it out before they would have succumbed to, to the, the fatigue without food. And yet, 
there was enough food that each of the 12 disciples could have gone home with a basket full of food for their next meals. You know, you share these miracles of the widow woman and the feeding of the 5,000, and you're going to have people say, well, boy, I'm glad you told me that because I'm not going to buy any more food. Why do I need to prepare? I've got a year's supply of food, and I, when I run out of food, I'm just going to pray that God's going to multiply it. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. That widow woman, she gave everything she had. Mm -hmm. The group out there with 5,000 to feed, they hardly had anything. But they, that, that little kid, he gave everything he had. And the thought hit me that some people have more resources than others. It's true. That widow woman didn't have very much, and God met her at crunch time and mm -hmm. multiplied her food mm -hmm. because what little she had, mm -hmm. she shared it. We are stewards. You know, a steward, we know what tithing is. 10% belongs to God. The 90% still belongs to God. Mm -hmm. But as a steward, God allows us to manage the other 90% to be able to meet our needs and also to be a good steward with. So if God has blessed you with the means to help many people in the last days... And you say, I'm just going to trust God. I'm just going to let God multiply my food. If you say that in your heart, by your actions, then what you are saying is, what's mine is mine, and what's God is mine. And that is a selfish attitude. And when crunch time comes, don't expect a miracle. God expects us to be faithful stewards and to do Amen. what we can in these days. And many of you should be building a bigger ark than what you're building. Mm. Yeah.